Are you ready to quit now? How many of y'all thinking I've had enough of this rental business already? This is Rick Jarman, Real Estate Old School. I'm gonna tell you folks, it ain't always gonna be easy. Trust me, you think I wanna see how it is right now? At my age, I'll be 65 next month. I'm thinking how many of these darn recessions and crap I got to go through. But I ain't quitting. And I hope y'all don't quit. There'll be something else. If you stay in it long enough, there will be something else. Now, sure, we've never seen nothing like this that's going on right now. I hope we never see anything again. But business-wise, there's always something going to happen somewhere down the line. So if you think you're going to get in this business, and there's not going to be no ups and downs, I'm here to tell you there will be. But here's the thing, folks. So many of you ready to throw the tile in right now. For y'all that aren't boxing fans, that means when one boxer's getting beat up real bad, his corner throw the tile in so they don't whoop his butt anymore. And some of y'all ready to throw the tile in. If you are, this business ain't for you. I know when I worked at the university in maintenance before I went full time for myself in 1984, a lot of them guys I worked with, they'd get through work, they'd go home and prop their feet up. I'd get through work, I'd go do a side job. I might be remodeling a house to flip, I might be doing an addition or something on somebody's house, but I always had side work. I always had at least two jobs. And there's one point before I went full time, I had three. I was selling real estate part time, doing my side work on my rentals and flipping and working my regular job. I used to think somebody just go and work a 40 hour week. They were lazy if they didn't try to have them do more for their family. And you gotta realize I come from a working background. So the only way I knew how to get more was to get out and work, do extra, buy something, fill up it, whatever. I mean, that's all I knew. But people nowadays, a lot of them still like that. Get to 40 hours, go home. You know, one question I get all the time, how old was you when you was able to live on your rentals? Folks, I didn't start living entirely on my rentals till I was 60 years old. Now, I could have before, but I was a home builder. I enjoyed doing what I did. I had to live on my rentals during the recession when I couldn't build, but I could. But that's not the goal. The goal is get your property, get where you can be in business for yourself and just deal with your rentals. It's not to just quit and go put your feet in the sand. It may be for some of you, but, I, but like I said, that's a pipe dream for some of you because a real entrepreneur if you think just because you get 40 years old that you're going to work, say you're 25 or 30, and you get to be 40 years old, and you say, I'm just going to quit work at 40. Mm -mm. If you work to get to that point and sacrifice to do what you have to do to get there, get your business going, you're not going to walk away. You can't leave the fun. You can't leave the excitement. I mean, it's like a drug. So are you ready to quit? If you're ready to quit and throw the tile in, you might as well go ahead and do it now because it ain't meant for you. It's just that simple. And a lot of people, like I said, they don't want to take the chances. It's that 5%. Now, are you part of that 5%? It's all right if you're not. Everybody can't be in that 5%. But don't kid yourself. It's like I've told you before, if you're lazy in everything else you do, you're going to be lazy in this business, and it ain't going to work. You know, I want, I was thinking about coming on here today and talk about foreclosures, how I buy them and everything, and I may do that tomorrow. But I got to think of right now, we just got folks got to be sure they're going to hang in there, and this is what they want to do. And they're going to tough it out do what it takes. I mean, it's going to be tough. Next few months going to be tough. You're going to have to 
You have to get tough. Put on your big boy britches. Or big girl britches. Whatever it might be. Or whatever the hell you wear. But that's how it's, it's going to be. Next few months ain't going to be easy. So is this what you want to do? Don't give up. I ain't giving up. I ain't never going to give up. Never have. I've been through some hard times. So, you know, you just don't give up. Just don't give up. That's all I got to say today. Talk to y'all tomorrow.